What is going on, everybody? You can, you can see it right there. <laughs> Today, we're not working on my duty or a duty. This is the new shop beater. I got a crowdy beater, but I got a new beater. I have an 05 GMC Safari. I want to take you along for, well, I already did some tints, courtesy of yours truly, but it's time for a Bluetooth radio. I cannot hook my phone to this. Oh my gosh. You guys ever put one in a Safari? We about to tonight. All right, guys, thanks so much for coming back and checking us out. We got Jorge here. Make sure you support your local diesel shop. All right, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Excuse, excuse the chicken legs. We got a little bit different content coming. I'm gonna be uh, showing some other stuff that we're gonna be working on. Not always, not always the power strokes, but right now we are in the shop beater van and we're gonna be replacing this factory radio and I have never taken one off of a safari, but I just kind of started pulling and well, this is how this is gonna end up. Well, we had three connectors, three connectors right here on the back. I'm not familiar with these GM ones, but I was able to hit this button right here, pop them out, three of them. One, two, three. And this has made this way looser. Oh yeah. But I'm going to have to pull this down. And, oh, there we go. This nappy foam. Hmm. All right, I got to get this connector over here. Uh, looks like we got just a big, big button right here. Big button. I already hit it and plugged it back in but yeah now this whole piece now this whole piece should finagle out of here unless there's anything else hidden i didn't take any screws out righteous all right plastic piece is out and we didn't break anything all right this is getting looser but it appears hey look hey go back go back hey hey look Hey, he look, hey look, he's wearing banks. Banks, <laughs> he's got fucking banks on. All right, right here, pull that down. The same thing on, on the driver's side, that little, these little tippy tabs here. And this thing is eventually gonna weasel its way out. I have yet to take any screws off. Come on. What is going on? I don't know if we got 20 years of crud holding this in or if we in fact have something. Ah, maybe it's the wires. Hmm. This little squirrely dude right here. Come on, baby. Come on, let me get my little let me get my little driver of screws. See if we can. Did I get it? I thought I hit the button. Felt like I was hitting the button. Looks like the button's popped. Yeah. And I'm also doing this from the side too. We got one other connector underneath here. Kind of fighting. Can't really get your arm up in there. I can imagine they probably want you to take this little HVAC module out. But I didn't. All right, I think I'm tethered here on this power. Uh, the two connectors I got over here, I got, okay, here we go. That's one. I got one out. Let's see if I can pull the antenna, the antennae. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Boom, oh, I had it. I just was cockeyed, so. All right, well, GMC radio, we out.
We out here. We out here. I'm down in the bowels of the GMC Safari. Well, I'm only going to be using this connector. Well, we are only going to be using that connector. We're... Oh, <clears throat> it's right there. Uh, yeah. So that's going in here like that. We have uh, some rain. I got powers and grounds and some spakers. I've got my speaker wires. That's fine and dandy, but I also had this connector right here. And I'm thinking that went to the CD player. Well, this CD player ain't working anymore. But you can go ahead and leave her right, kind of just sitting right there, tucked in there behind there. We don't need that one anymore, right there. Oh, wow, look at that Lear sticker. Wow. She's an oldie. Well, now it comes time. We're gonna have to marry these two together. <clears throat> right like this. We're gonna have to fabricate a little harness. Uh so yeah, we need yeah, we need to go <clears throat> like this. And I guess we're gonna need to booty connect all of these anyway. So, I guess let's just go ahead and booty connect all of these. I don't know if you guys ever pay attention, but when you get these bullet connectors, the non-insulated ones, you see that crack that's down the middle of it? See that crack or that sliver? Well, when you do this, you have two spots in the tool. You have a part where the crack's going to lay in, and then you have the part where it's gonna crush the crack. You wanna have the crack in the valley so that we're crimping it on the other side. Cause if you crimp it in the crack, it just kinda winds up making the, uh, the crimp all kinda goofy like. Go ahead and just put all these in. Ah! We're experiencing technical difficulties. All right, so now we have this all situated like this we need to switch over and i need where's the end of it oh man that's not what i wanted to do and i'll clean it up later there it is all right we need how many of how many pieces of heat shrink we need one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, let's cut off 13 pieces of this little heat shrink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Where'd the MIA one go? Oh, here it is. All right, let's go ahead and shuttle a heat shrink onto each one of these wires. Gosh, I haven't put a radio in. Well, I put a radio in baby red car. Just this reminds me of high school. Like how many times guys, you guys put, well, my age group, I guess, put in 
uh, stereos and subs and stay tuned to the channel because we got something coming for the Super Duty I think you guys are going to like. Yes, it involves car stereo. I'm excited. I'm finally able to give some time to my life. And I might actually have time to do some stuff. I'll have you know this harness is going to be Limitless Auto Works approved. And it's not that hard. Match the color wires up to the color wire. I mean, the only difficult part I foresee somebody having is possibly putting in the dash kit, so. All right, there it is. There's our almost prefabbed harness. This is going from, from the GM connector right here, and then to the radio. I'm on the radio. All right, we're not using remote control. We're not using P control. We're gonna be using the yellow, the black, and the red. So I guess let's snip all of these other ones that are long, make those all the same. Okay. My red and my black. All right, let's go and strip all of these every one that we're gonna do. I think I put one on the orange we're not gonna need the orange I don't have illumination coming out of this connector for the radio That was self-explanatory. Get all these little pieces. Get all these little... All right, it's up. All right. Both white wires have a black tracer on it. Remember the way you crimped it. Put it back in the tool the same way. And we got the white with the black. White with the black. White touches black. He's your friend, Jack. We'll go for the other one. Yeah, this isn't... Uh, I haven't put too many GM radios in. Even on my uh, 05, on my 07 Tahoe, I don't... Uh, I still have the stock radio in it. All right, we'll take care of these gray boys. Got the grays. I'm rocking the grays. I don't want them all twangled up. Alright, I think we have some certified lifetime connections. I don't think it's necessary to solder all these and that's just that's just my opinion. I think this this will be just just fine. All right, let's start with the black again. Green with black. Boom. Got it. Where's my other green?
I don't know what that blue. Steering wheel remote input, no. Antenna control, no. I'm not turning an amp on. Mute, no. All right, well, I guess I didn't need one on the orange and the blue. What does it say blue is? Power antenna, yeah, okay. Well, we're not using that, so that that's my bad. So I'll go ahead and we'll cut that off. We'll cut this off. These ones are already kind of down where they need to be, already curled over. So put my heat shrink on. We'll do these one at a time. Recording? Yeah. I'm sure someone's going to comment and say, don't catch your seat on fire. Mm All right, well, that's freaking, that's kind of it. I really like that. Let me, um, let me take this one step further. I'll be right back. Let me grab a pair of cutters. Let's see. Let's see if we remember where the Z cutters are. Okay, we'll take these ones. I don't know, made in China on these ones. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh look, it's my old batteries. Oh, I need, oh, here we go. No, I don't think, I think that's, that's too small. Yeah, that's too small. All right, I guess we're just gonna be, oh, wrong drawer. I guess we're just gonna be stuck with, with tizape. Where's my, well, we're inside. Probably should use harness tape, huh? Right, right, right. All right, harness tape. Coming at you. Okay, harness tape coming at you. Let's, uh, let's start on the end. Let's get all the loosey, the loosey gooseys. This is gonna be the nicest harness in this 2005 van. The middle's gonna look like it had a little bit of a baby, but yeah, we don't care about that. Oh, look at that. Almost. Oh, well, just a tiny bit more. This one's almost done anyway. Oh, yeah, we'll just, re re we'll just use the rest of this one too. All right, well, you guys saw what that harness looked like. <laughs> now it looks considerably, considerably better. Uh, this is gonna plug in right here, like that. Boom, there it is. It's ready to 
ready to go. But the next thing we're gonna have to do is now get the dash kit ready. All right, here's the freaking dash kit. Uh, I got this from Crutchfield. I don't know if that matters to you guys, but this was pretty, pretty G. Uh, you guys remember those tabs, how we pulled out, remember how we pulled those tabs out or pushed the tabs down? That's literally how the radio is going to go in. I mean, that's, that's pretty sturdy. I like that, but let's pull that back out. We're not going to have to do any fab to that, but the little cage that came radio, this has to sit in here like this. Okay. That's, did it just clip all the way in there? Are you serious? Get out. This is like one of the first radios I've ever put in <laughs> where this like clipped right in. Uh, it's just moving, just a smidgy widgy, which is not bad. I don't know if you guys have ever had to mess with any of these, but see this little tab right here? We want to keep this from moving the cage to the plastic piece. Gonna see if we can just pop this little tab down. I mean, it's like almost there. I wonder if I can pull out or push, pull it in more. I mean, it's like right there. Can't push any of these ones because it's too too tall. We bend just a little bit of that. I mean, gosh, look at that. It's so close. Let's try the other side. I mean, you can see it right there. Look, it's so close. Actually, did that side get in there? Can I get one side and not the other? Here I am, baby. Here I am, baby. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me all night long. All right, that's not what I wanted to do. It's this little pile of monkey sh right here. Let's see if I can pry up on it. It's virtually right there. There we go. I got it past this little lip. Okay, so that side won't pull out. Now if we can just get this side just a wee bit. It's right there. Look at that little Judas Priest right there. Come on, you little nincompoop. If I got that one, I, I mean... You would only logically think you'd be able to get this one. I mean, look at that. It's like, bruh, it's right there. Oh, I got it. I got it. Did you guys see that? Did you get that? Oh, that's sick. Okay. Now, that's not going where, that's not going anywhere. Uh, I guess that would be really time for Zirapio. Check it out. Man, look at that. That's freaking sweet. All right, does this radio face detach? Yeah? Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm going into the mall. Let me get my radio detachable face plate box. Can you dig it? Okay, let's go ahead and put the radio in. This mug just going to slide right into the cage. Now, this has got uh, special keys. That came, now this won't slide out, it came with special keys. Kenwood gives you uh, these keys here if you want to take them out. And those keys go right here to release like this tab right here. No big deal. Uh, okay, one thing I did forget. All right, let's put the radio trim on. Will it fit in here? Here's the bottom. Oh my God, look, there's the top. Dude, that's freaking sick. Look at that. Really good insulation kit. I know. And it came with it too, it was free. The radio was a hundred bucks. The kit was free. They gave me this for the ante an antennae. That's gonna have to... Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, so that's definitely going to go there. So let's plug our extension. Extension is plugged in. Boom. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. We are ready to go in. All right, that looks G. Uh, let's put the radio face on, make sure we don't have any 
weird spacing problems. Oh, man. Damn. Isn't that dope? Check it out. I like that. It really is. 100 bucks. It was 99.98 Crutchfield. I like that. Okay. Well, the one last thing they send us, because this is Bluetooth, is I'm going to need to be able to talk while you're driving, hands-free. comes with a little mic, and this is obviously going to have to run to the radio. Uh, and it's going to have to go through here and up the A-pillar, which, if I could just get this behind the radio, I could, I mean, I technically don't have to go up there. I could leave this puppy right here somewhere. All right. Let's, what do I want to do? Let's come through here. Okay. Let's plug the radio in. All right. There's the mic port. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Mike. I have it facing up. Antenna. <clears throat> Let's have that facing the side because our slack is going to be going off to the side. Is that in? There we go. Now that's in. That felt secure. Our mic. Hey, Mike. And then we got our last connector right here. Only going to go in one way. BFH. There we go. All right. So now just kind of wiggle, wiggle all this stuff out of the way. And freaking. Oh man, check it out. Look at that. That is rad, man. Now, I guess it would be customary to turn on the key, right? To make sure it all works. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, we don't have any lights. <sighs> Whoa, I like that. Yes, English. Cancel demo, press knob. Yes, demo off. Thank you, Beavis and Butthead. Oh, wow, it's the right time. Thank you. Whoa, what the heck was that? Savage. Yeah, yeah. But if you want to 21, 21, 21. All right, let's turn that down before we get copyrighted. All right, well, it works. That's freaking awesome. I guess, hold on, let me turn it back on. I forgot, you can just go to standby. Oh, I like that blue. Radio, USB, Bluetooth audio, that's what's going to stay on. And then what is this? Standby, so it should display the clock. Okay, cool. Wow, right time and everything. Well, that's freaking rad. I mean, it's not going to be a, a big deal with getting this all hooked back up. I will hook the mic up to somewhere cool. Hello! But this is pretty much it for my new shop van, the Safari, the GMC radio out of here. Um, I don't know. This is kind of a different video. Uh, I just want to see what you guys thought of it. We have more non-Ford stuff coming, more... Uh, power stroke, lots of power stroke stuff coming. We just had to skew off in an alternate tangent and go to a uh, alternate 1985. But uh, I think that's going to conclude the rest of this video. Tell me what you think about this. If you've ever used Crutchfield, uh, maybe I'll put the link in the description of where I got my stuff just in case you're wondering. 100 bucks for this Bluetooth radio, mic, CD player, 100 bucks, and the dash kit. Hey, you can't go wrong with that. Until next time, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time, possibly on another GMC Power Stroke. Really? Ah, see you later.